What's up guys, this is Quadron, welcome to Araxis. We're going to be talking about the map system today and how to get the most out of it. Let me go ahead and go through some basic features of the map and then what I use it for and how I make the most use out of it, especially when I'm in a specific vehicle like a Reaver or a Liberator. Okay, so to start off with, uh, the map is broken up into hexes. Uh, along the right here, you can turn off a number of different options here like instant action which shows you where you could drop in if you have the drop in meter uh, timer up and right now I just dropped in so I have 15 minutes total left but it's actually 12 it's 15 it's 15 minutes in between each instant action drop and I've uh, done it two and a half minutes ago so you can drop at any of these locations now one of the most important things you can do is hover your mouse over a base and then on along the left here along the left over here you'll see a thing that says enemy platoon detected oh and it'll tell you all about that area so basically it says you know enemy platoon detected it lets you know what influence level there is on that uh, that particular territory and then it also lets you know what you get for as a benefit so we get a main battle tank from the tech plant you get uh, the turret heat reduction from the amp station General and you get repair. extra health regen from the biolab uh, so basically if you, if you want to be able to get tanks at all these other places you have to have it connected to a tech plant uh, otherwise your vehicle terminals aren't going to have tanks in the option um, and which is uh, I think it's a really cool feature that you have to have a tech plant to be able to to be able to spawn those things Think about is this thing called enemy activity normally it's turned off but by switching it on you can see where the hotbeds of enemy activity are uh, if you're in a reaver uh, or a liberator you either want to be going towards the the orange or red parts probably um, or potentially the lighter parts General but probably the orange or red parts these would probably be too hot for a liberator or a reaver to be you know attacking because there's gonna be probably gonna be way too much repair. AA but the tech plant would be a perfect broken arch road uh, these places right here Generator um, and you can see where the Vanu and Terran are fighting up there but primarily right now the amp station is the hotbed activity in the crown enemy platoons detected there but uh, this is a great way to find action if you're struggling to find action on the map uh, so I thought I'd share that okay so let's say I'm in a reaver and I want to find a location to go attack now one thing you have to keep in mind is you want there to be people there but you don't want there to be crazy insane amounts of AA so usually if there's a huge platoon or platoons you're almost always going to get tons of AA so uh, right here there's an enemy platoon uh, so you, if, I, if I'm coming, Generator if I'm leaving warp gate and I'm looking for a place to go, I'm going to I'm gonna hover my mouse over all the potential territories and just see how many enemies are there. So I see an enemy platoon here, enemies detected, and uh, crossroads watchtower, enemy platoon detected. So crossroads watchtower definitely would not be a good place to go. Because they're attacking the tech plant, that probably means they have less AA. They probably have lots of infantry. Generator means stabilized. that this might actually be the best place to go for a reaver, even though it's a platoon. Uh at the same time it's probably still better overall and uh, also notice that uh, look at the bar you can you can see the bar and it'll goes up and down see we're just starting to cap broken arch road so if for example I was in a reaver I wanted to get some extra XP I could fly over to broken arch road get the cap XP which is gonna happen in about 45 seconds and uh, be able to get the XP from it and, and as a squad leader you definitely want to be doing this um, like this is so important for all squad leaders to have map awareness you want to know exactly what bases are being capped around you uh, if you're gonna get cut off you might need to retreat to defend uh, if you're capping up ahead you might want to push ahead to get your squad extra XP um, it's all like really really important so uh, and honestly going to the right location with your reaver or liberator makes the difference between you just getting shot down or you actually being able to get lots of XP from the trip so really learn to use this map um, one of the really important things to also note is that uh, you can set waypoints so I can set a waypoint to gravel pass or to broken arch road and it'll guide me there a lot easier um, also note that your player has a little triangle right here and when you're part when you're a part of a squad which I can I can hop in a squad so now I'm in a squad and uh, you can see we got three guys at the crown 
And someone just killed me. Now, note, you can't look up all those things on this map. So you need to have map awareness before you die. Because you can't really use the map awareness other than the flashing parts equal that that area is being attacked by the enemy. So we're attacking the Zervan Amp, they're attacking the Crown and Rust Mesa, and they're attacking... Uh, we're attacking the Biolab, and they're attacking... Uh, I think that's uh, the old stockpile. Yeah. So knowing your map is so important as a squad leader and as uh, just any, any time you want to play this game effectively, you need to know the map. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe you learned something new, maybe you didn't. A lot of you probably already know a lot about the map system. Anyway guys, uh, I will catch you guys later.